So recall a long time ago that I said a vector is a magnitude and a direction. Those are the two most important things we're interested in with vectors. There's their magnitudes and their directions. Well, now that we've seen vector normalization, I don't know if you really understand it or not. You will as we use it over and over and over in our games. But, but normalized vectors, they give us the direction. Okay, again, with vectors, what we're interested in their magnitude and their direction. And a normalized vector pretty much gives us a direction. That doesn't give us a magnitude. The magnitude's one, so to say. So, say you're driving around with your significant other and you ask for directions and they say, go that way for seven miles. Well, if that way would be one mile and then seven of them, well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we've seen this. This is vector scaling. I've, I've taken this unit vector down here of length one, our basis, so to say, and I times that by seven. And well, here, let me do seven in green. I'll do the seven in green. We times this basis vector by seven. So seven times our direction if you would. Let's just say this is our direction. I'll say D and give it a caret, meaning normalize its length one. So seven times that gives us a resulting vector like so. And we've seen this. This is simply scalar multiplication or scaling our vector up. So when you think normalized vectors, think direction. And then when we say a vector is a magnitude and a direction, well here is the magnitude and here's the direction. Right? This part right here is the direction and the part on the left is the magnitude. And the, the direction and the magnitude are both important if you're with your significant other driving around lost in whatever country you're driving around in and somebody gives you a wrong direction but the correct magnitude you may end way off. Say you're, you, you are right here, you want to be right here but then they give you an incorrect direction of that away well then you're going to end up seven units out far away, far away from where you want to be. So there you go. When we say magnitude, a vector is a magnitude and a direction. Well the direction is the unit length or one length and the, the magnitude is well how far, how, mu how much are we scaling that by so to say. So there you go. Vectors are magnitudes and directions.